Thanks for tuning in to the Spiritual Spotlight Podcast. My name is Stephen Lewis, and in five minutes or less, I plan on encouraging and uplifting you with Bible verses, my personal writings, and more to give you a spiritual boost to your day. So get ready, because the spotlight is being turned on. Jesus is the great hope. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup and he gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But they shouted, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. We deserve to die for our crimes, but this man hasn't done anything wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus replied, I assure you today you will be with me in paradise. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Rejoice. Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the ends of the age. Amen. <laughs>